All right, we've got a video called The Ten Commandments of K-Pop Companies, Part 1. Let's check it out. Before we get into this video, I just want to say a huge shout out to all my patrons over on Patreon. I hope you guys are enjoying all that 3,000 plus pieces of content over there. The dramas, the movies, the albums, the live stages, the anime, the variety shows, and a ton more. We've got the biggest and baddest collection out there. If you want to join and support your boy and support the channel, you're more than welcome to check out the baddest of the baddest collection. Come through if you want to support me in the channel. If not, just please hit the video with a thumbs up. Let's get back into this video. Let's go. K-pop fan, this is a video for you. An mm. opportunity to learn the ropes that K-pop companies follow and will not ever compromise no matter what. Actually, that's a lie. They might bend some of them if the member that makes them the most money is in trouble. But other than that, they do not compromise. If you are... What, was that like a, like a subtle, a subtle, sh subtle shot? Uh, you suggested this? Thank you, Mariah. An old K-pop stan, this video is still for you because then we can bitch and whine for the billionth time in the comments <laughs> together about how much we hate the hell out of K-pop companies even though we are going to keep giving them our money and remain workhorses to the slavery that is capitalism. I was thinking recently about what video <laughs> no, to give you guys and decided no. on the first part of what I've titled the 10 commandments of K-pop companies. The uncompromised principles that they live by and no amount of noise on Twitter can change. Everyone has a rule book they follow, religious or otherwise, and it sometimes has rules that are unbendable no matter the circumstance. Mm. K-pop companies are no different. Sometimes there is a reason why no matter how loud we shout about an issue, companies stick to a formula of choices that benefit them in the end. Thank you for the follow. They all have protocols for different possible welcome, welcome. scenarios and they follow them strictly because they lead to one goal, to save the company, not the idols, not the groups, but the company itself. We are just ah, they're not lying. Do you know what I'm saying? Because they're kind of saying, in a way, though, without the company, there is no idols. You know what I'm saying? So the company definitely has to be saved. I get that. That does make sense. But still, you got to take care of your peoples or else you, it's just a company. Is it not? Company, when you first establish it, it's just a company. It's nothing. It's just a, a business you registered and said, I'm making my own company. You ain't got no one yet. So it's just a company. The idols and all that, the other people bring the value to the company. So therefore, you must take care of the people that make the company. No? That, that, that makes more sense to me. The people that make the company is the people you should take care of. Because without them, there is no company. It's just the name. What's the villain? What's the name? Bum, bum. But some pretty companies don't. Mm. And that's why the companies don't be surviving, innit? Seen, you see, you've seen group after group disbanding and shit. It's crazy. Asking K-pop companies to have compassion, respect, common sense, and every other good thing under the sun is the biggest waste of time. Because unlike the gods the of many corruption. religions, yeah, the theirs doesn't the care corruption. about morals. Mm. It cares about money. Whatever decision makes the most money or will keep them from losing more money is the only decision they will follow in any given situation. Mm. K-pop agencies are for profit organizations, meaning their biggest priority is to increase profit as much as possible and reduce loss and liability just as much. If they make music nobody likes, that means less money. If they make a group consisting of idols seen as ugly, they'll make less money. If they get that- Wow! Yo! Ah, that's kinda, that's kinda rough but true at the same time. Beauty does sell. Jesus damn. This is why we say K pop visuals. Visuals is a big part. It's a big part. It's a, it's a very big part. It means less money. If they make a group consisting of idols seen as ugly, they'll make less money. If they get bad publicity, even if it is for doing the right thing, that means less money. Wow. Do you see the running theme here? Mm. They cannot afford to lose money Losing because money, they have yeah. to report to the board of directors every. Uh, the amount of idols who got scouted just because of their visuals, yeah, that's true. Every year or however many times stipulated in their contracts on how the groups they have invested in are doing, and if profit is not being made, the groups are a waste of money and should be discontinued before they lose more. Damn. As K-pop fans, we constantly judge- so they're, basically, they're basically looking at idols like a stock, isn't it? Idols are like a little stock market, man. Full on investment, and if the investment is bad, I'm selling. Selling quickly companies for thinking about money before anything else and while yes it is unfair and not exactly morally acceptable these companies do not run on water or potatoes they need money to continue in this cutthroat industry so it makes sense that they're highest and at times their only priority when making decisions regarding the future is money that's why i say being a soloist is probably the hardest thing in the k-pop industry in the k-pop industry because you are one it's all reliant on you whereas a group the more you have in a group let's say you've got five anything above five members 
a lot of people could be supporting you just because of one, that one person, they like the way they look, they like the way they talk, um, they like the way the other person dresses, um, the other one is got a nice voice. Da, 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 da. There's so many options for people to choose in a group and say, okay, I like that guy. I kind of mess with the group's music, but I'm going to support the group because I like that one person. Whereas when you're by yourself, aye, it's rough. Like, how are you literally saved? What's good? Saved her, saved her company from going under two. I both say if F sent from okay when they were struggling, yeah. Facts. It's wrong, bro. It's rough. Just like the biblical commandments, the rest that follow are attached to the first one. Okay. If money is company's first god, mm. visuals is their second. I recently talked about this in my short. Photo cards, the, the clothing and stuff they make them dress. You know, they've got to have that, that sex appeal, which is, that's why a lot of people complain about idols debuting before a certain age, right? This is why a lot of people complain, because in K-pop, they have that sex appeal. Visuals, automatically, you're talking sex appeal, bruh. That's what you're talking. So that's why a lot of people are like, yo, if you're underage, why are you debuting? Because you know people are going to be looking at you a certain way, because you're going to have to act a certain way. You're going to act grown, right? They're going to Photoshop your pictures. There you go photo shoots photoshop photoshopping images the, the dance moves they got you doing oh this is crazy that you start when you start to think about shit you're like damn yo brand ambassadors oh shit there is an influx of children convinced that there are companies that care about talent more than visuals and to them i say are we talking about the same industry or not? <laughs> it's a group of children you know i this person's savage <laughs> i recently talked about didn't say adults, children. <laughs> about this in my shorts. There is an influx of children convinced that there are companies that care about talent more than visuals, and to them I say, are we talking about the same industry <laughs> oh, or not? Dead. Some people tried to mention RBW, claiming that Mamamoo is a good example, and my response is what other example do you have? Are we actually gonna pretend that One Us and Purple Kiss aren't filled with pretty people who happen to be talented? Mm. And believe me, Solar being in Mamamoo wasn't a coincidence either. The Ooh. woman is a crazy talented singer without a doubt, but RBW knew they needed someone who would be a stan magnet in that group, though it wow. ended up being Nasa, which is a conversation for another day. Wow. Visuals are a high priority for every company because they know that talent can always be trained, that is if they actually value talent just as much, for instance SM or HYBE. Like it or not, your looks make the first impression on anyone you meet, including those pick -me's who tell you that they couldn't care less about superficial things, the truth is- I mean, you ain't lying. <laughs> you, you, you ain't lying. <laughs> I mean, I mean, <laughs> ah, right now it's just the hard truth. I mean, <laughs> yeah, I mean. Because they may not judge you on the outside, but they are definitely thinking it in their heads. Mm. Research shows it takes as little as seven seconds for people to make an impression after meeting you, and that's mm. in person. I don't even want to imagine how little that takes on TV. Mm. Research also shows that people with conventionally attractive looks are associated with pleasant characters and vice versa for those who aren't as attractive. Okay. Yes, even little miss I only care about the heart, gives a damn what you look like, for fuck's sake do not be fooled. <laughs> K-pop companies know this and that's why looks are more important than talent, it Yo. is because they are more important to the audience, if the public didn't care, neither would companies. When a company is brave enough to have several groups where most of the members do not fit the Korean beauty standards in defiance of the public, then we can talk. Until then, no company values talent more than looks. Be serious. Oh, you didn't have to do them like that. Ooh. Um, ooh. You did not have to go there. She said, stop all these diets and whatnot. Let people live the way they want to live. You know, these harsh diets. You got to eat like this. I say you guys got to change your hair colors all the time and whatnot. Ooh, hold on, hold on. She's speaking. Huh? Serious. She's hey, she's speaking facts. As a forever, I find myself crackling at fans who demand an Everglow full album. Don't misunderstand this as me saying Everglow cannot pull a full album. Hell, I'd say they can do it better than 95% of the K-pop groups in their generation and probably better than some in the previous one. In their almost half a decade, this group has never released a bad B-side, and even in 2021, the girls released a mini-album better than almost every other album, full or mini, with Twice's formula of love being an exception. However, demanding a full album when you all know good and well that you will not stream it enough to pay off expenses and promote is hilarious. Companies will never want to give more than they can get back. It doesn't take a survey to know nobody wants to end up like Blockberry Creative or worse. At ah, see, okay, this is, this is where it starts to get techie. 
this is where it starts to get techy because i agree with this companies don't want to give off more than they're going to get back but if we look at a group like blackpink you can't tell me blackpink couldn't have given us more than 28 songs or i don't even know how many songs they've given us since they debuted don't do that i beg don't do that do you know what i'm saying so it, it it makes sense but sometimes companies are just greedy some companies are just literally greedy that's what it is it's just greed as long as fans do not make an effort to show that they are hungry for more they will not get more companies <laughs> tend to make plans and predictions on <laughs> to show that they are hungry for more they will not get more you will not get more <laughs> no if but some you're not getting more you're not getting nothing <laughs> Companies tend to make plans and predictions on how much money and they give the bare minimum to, to maximize profits exactly years to convince those in charge that this is a project worth investing in and all their musical releases are based on adding to that goal. This goes both ways. If the public's response is more than they expected, they will never bother to do better. Blackpink wow. never got better music because they broke There we go records with their current one and remained at the top of the food chain there we go unless someone had strongly threatened their position as the biggest girl group in k-pop nothing was going to change red velvet even fits into this category revlove screamed about red velvet not getting enough promotions but sm didn't care because at the end of every year they collected awards like damn pokemons and they still made bank if these two had flopped so you're telling me sm gave me that chill kill bullshit on purpose they were just like ah just pick one just just pick a title track man just pick one and it's red velvet they're gonna sell we're gonna make money it doesn't matter which title track you choose just choose one and make a nice video out of it i'm it went like that I, I, hey i could almost swear that it, it went like that i could almost swear it went like that just pick one that you feel like it would be a nice video and just yeah just make that a title track <laughs> i swear it we go make money anyways. Everyone wants Red Velvet. They're gonna buy the album. It doesn't matter. Oh la 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 la. If a okay, if a group does well in the spotlight and they can make money from ads too and other things than music, so make more music. So why why make more music exactly? Like like I was saying uh, with Blackpink, there was a period of time, and I think everyone was agreeing with me. They were pretty much models. They were models not idols that's what they were they were models and not idols they were not musicians they were models and they kind of still are they kind of still are just for the big companies the chanel's you know what i'm saying and all that kind of stuff they, they're models man. Way, i guarantee changes would have been made so keep that in mind the next time you wonder why companies never bother to do better mm. K-Nets are a bigger priority because they are the domestic market. International fans are always bitter towards this fact, though because they see themselves as less judgmental, which let's be honest, they are not, and more understanding especially when it comes to social justice issues in comparison to Koreans. Yet despite their understanding, their needs, demands and considerations tend to take a back seat to what the Koreans want and they wonder why. Number 1, Koreans usually are the number one source of money for these groups, that much we already know, so since they give them more money they are the bigger priority. What I really want to focus on though is the second reason, which is the importance of influence. No matter how popular a group is internationally, they are still a Korean pop group, which means they should be respected or liked in the home of Korean pop. Mm. That means adhering to the cultures, customs, or even whims of said country in order to gain a respectable reputation. Facts, this also applies facts. to foreigners, which would explain- I, I, I just heard thingy, was it Sujin? I don't know if it's actually true, she, she got banned from Korea? Was that true? And now I think they got used to it and now to do other things like model and act then be blackpink true it could be possible i think she, i heard that i heard it but yeah that statement there dead beat arena that's a that's a true fact you know what i'm saying because do you know what it is I, i'm not gonna lie to you guys being an idol is a very hard task it's a it's a it's a hard job as much as it looks glamorous it's a hard bloody job touring rehearsals diets and and more and more and more brother if it was me i've been doing this for a couple years i'm making okay money and then all of a sudden I, I become an ambassador of a company like chanel and all they want me to do is stand and take pictures and and upload them and i'm getting paid more than i'm getting paid for blackpink i no word of a lie 
Blackpink is taking a back seat. If the company's like, yo, we're still gonna pay you your salary, but you know what I'm saying? Like we could drop an album in about two years. I'm gonna be like, alright, cool, do you <laughs> do you? <laughs> do you? It's it's cool, no problem. Yeah, calm. So I can focus on this, I can, I, I can do this, no problem. As long as I'm getting my money, you know what I'm saying? As long as those, those royalties are coming in, I'm good. Like, you know? Bruh. It makes sense. Same with B.I. Yeah, B.I. B, B, got battened as well. She could be blacklisted for promoting the music show and stuff. Oh, man, it sucks. But that's the, that's their culture out there, man. We, they, we got to respect it. That's the rules they got out there. Why Chewie had to apologize for supporting her own country. Apart from that, being well liked gives them more influence. Oh yeah, I've I've heard about that before as well. Didn't this happen with Jackson as well? Isn't I think something like this happened with Jackson as well, isn't it? When you take things out of Korea, you start supporting China, Japan, Japan, Japan it becomes a problem. Supporting her own country. Jackson Apart didn't apologize that, though. No, no, no. Well liked gives them more influence in the industry. It's part of why the Big Three and Hive became as big as they are. They've had music, artists, and visuals that have gained favor with the public, who then impacted Facts. how the industry markets itself now. Facts. YG gave us rap lines. JYP gave us our first real it girl, Suzy. SM gave us slave contracts. I mean, strategies to break in. to the Japanese market and the creation of concepts. While Hyde gave. Slave contracts is mad. <laughs> Wasn't we talking about this in the podcast about the contracts being crazy? <clears throat> but would you want to promote to people that didn't like you mm. and wanted you to be gone? Mm. If, before they found any evidence, I wouldn't. I hear that. I hear that. I would be salty as well. You're banning me for not. Pro yeah, yeah, true. I hear that. But it's true. Yeah, 13 year contracts are mad, bruh. Gave us strategies to retain an international 13 market. Thirteen-year contracts into. is wild. Several groups already did that before them. I mean, retain and keep them loyal. Hybe has also convinced other companies, such as Source Music and Pledis. To uh, the only way I'm signing a thirteen-year contract is if I'm getting all that thirteen-year money up front. <laughs> I'm I'm getting that money up front. The the fattest and juki and plus I get royalties on every song I release or every video that my face is in. I'm getting some level of royalty. I don't even care if it's zero point five percent. I'm getting my money on everything that's involved with me till I die. Till I die. <laughs> if I'm signing a thirteen year contract, bro, I'm getting royalties. I don't want you just to pay me for the job. But like thirteen year contract, everything you do, you're not getting nothing from them. Nah, 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 nah. nah. I'm getting a little something, something. <laughs> SM has some of the worst contracts. Nah, 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 see, that's why you gotta start getting. You gotta lawyer up. You gotta lawyer up and tell your lawyer, brother. I want a piece of every action I'm involved in. I don't care if it's the smallest of the smallest. It adds up over time. Time compound interest. Give me my royalties, bro. <laughs> you know. But again, in the beginning, that's when the parents need to. The parents need to be. You these idols before they sign, the parents need to be. You know what I'm saying? Like, I believe in my child. I know my child's going to be big. I need something. Just cash on hand. I don't need the cash on hand. Give me something. <clears throat> you can't lawyer up without being without knowing you're going to be big. Brother, if a company like SM is willing to sign you, you know you're going to be big. I'm lawyering up. <laughs> if SM and them lot are knocking on my door saying, yeah, we're ready to sign you. Here's the 13-year contract. I'm hooking up a lawyer ASAP because I know I got it. I, I know I got it. I'm hooking up. That's why the Chinese members filed a lawsuit to break contract. It's too late, though, is it not? You signed it. How are you going to break it up unless the, unless the label has broken some type of rules? It's, that's the only way you can really get out of the contract, no? The EXO Chinese members left. Fair enough. That's W's. But yeah, it's normally if the com companies have broken some kind of contract rules, it's the, way, it's the easiest way to get out. But if they haven't broken any contract rules, it's a tough one. It's a bit complicated, yeah. 
to join them, improving chances of promotions and success to their already great groups, and in return, Hive has expanded its influence, not to mention giving an automatic boost to companies made under them, such as B-Lift and Adore. These I achieve- never heard of those two, B-Lift and Adore? What the- are because the Korean market respects them and it is because of this respect that they have gotten bigger and grown as companies. Mm. This respect is also why Koreans automatic- It's crazy, it's crazy because some groups we like right now probably haven't been paid yet at all. Oh yeah. B okay, B Lift is an Hypens company, okay. And Adore is New Jeans, okay. Okay. That's actually true. Cause they, they have to pay back all their training uh, days, right? I forgot about that. Shit. They gotta pay back all that training day and all that kind of stuff money, right? That's why Luna didn't get paid after five years? Wait, so this is why they live in like studio houses and it's not even about being humble no more. At this point, we're doing it because we have to. We don't, we, we ain't got nowhere to live. Wow. <sighs> Imagine putting in all that work and it's just going back to, that's crazy. Training, schooling, food, yikes. They throw their support to any new groups created under them and almost guarantee them instant success, hence the term Big Three Privilege. Young's influence in the industry and Eugen's stellar reputation aid in Ives' popularity, and that coupled with Kakao's dominance in Starship shares is the reason that the company has influence. Mm. Adore is respected by Koreans because it is under Hive and it's run by Voldemort. I mean the woman who be- Hey! Voldemort? <coughs> Adore is respected so by Koreans dead. because it is under Hive and it's run by Voldemort. I knew a woman who became a grandmaster at creating concepts while oh she was still at SM Lord, Entertainment. That's a wild. A reputation helps you gain respect. Respect gives you power, and with power you can influence. If you can influence, then you dominate. Right. That only can be achieved by pandering to the Korean market, where the right. competition is fiercest. International stands have very different views on culture and social justice in comparison to Koreans, and pleasing one often means upsetting the other, so favor seems to follow whoever gives companies the greatest reward for appeasing them, and in this case, the K-Nets win. Oh lord man. I've seen so many second generation stands whining about how their faves got ignored for the new shiny toy in town, and now the same third generation stands who told them to get over it are screaming about the same thing. We need to acknowledge that this has to happen because this is how K-pop has worked and will always work. K-pop groups are not created to last forever, and the old will always have to clear the way for the new, like it or not, there is a time when your favorite group right now will no longer be of good use to their companies. Dang. As much as this statement makes me giggle. Lion King? <laughs> we bringing out Lion King? La <laughs> In all seriousness, I'm though, so public dead. interests change over time, and what worked for some groups may not work anymore as mm. fresh blood is introduced every three or so years and music taste continually evolve. Yeah, we, we might have to update that. Right now, if you say every three or four years, it seems like every two to three months, <laughs> there's a new group being released. <laughs> two, what, three to four years? Nah, bruh. <laughs> Because of this, K-pop groups will right now it seems every two to three months I'm having a new group. To. Companies also need to bring younger idols into the scene. Yes, it feels sick to say this, but that is what most of the public wants. No idol is blossoming as an artist at the ripe old age of 30. Also at that age, a lot of artists are sick of the idol life and are ready to plunge into something else, mm, whether it be a different career true. path or starting a family, either true. way, it will not align with the life they are currently living so companies have to move on. Uh, when, that's, that's actually low-key fair, I'm not gonna lie. When you start reaching 30 and you've been an idol since you were, what, 10, 11? Or something, that like you started training at like 10, 11. That is, I get that. But 20 years, I've given my life to this company. It's time for me to do my thing. I want, I want to live a normal life. As normal as it can be. You know, I get it. When companies no longer prioritize these groups, it's not mm. called abandonment like most people like to claim. It's simply change. Mm. I'm not trying to condemn people having a hard time letting go of the groups that brought them joy. Letting go is hard and I know that. Facts. As cliche as it sounds, it is not the end of the world. Mm. That's just about all the energy I can master for one video. Until the next time, eat ice cream and stream Billy's music. Mm. Peace. 
W's. That's a that's a W video. That was a good video. Good video. It, oh, I like that. Blunt, straight to the point. Good information. I like it, man. That was good. W suggestion. I cannot breathe without you being right by my side. I told you. Oh. I who in the James Bond is that? <laughs> it was hard, coming up with the glasses and that, the old swaggy pee and that, with the trench coat and that, hands in the pockets and that. Don't do it like that, standing there like a model and that. Hey! <laughs> 